When you're a business, it's important you tell your story through your digital content. In this episode of Backpedaling, here's how we did it with School of Rock Round Rock. When it came to School of Rock Round Rock, it was really important that we talked about what really makes their program different. What makes the School of Rock methodology, the program, what makes it different? And what was important to us was that we told the story through the instructors. We got a chance to sit down and meet the owner, the instructor, the general managers, and passion just exuded from all of them. And when you sit down with instructors, those people who are working directly with the kids or the parents or the adults, that you, you get to see what really makes them different. So what we did is we put together this video series where you get to meet some of the instructors from School of Rock, the actual people who work with the students, and hear them talk about School of Rock in their own words. So think about this type of video if you're thinking about video content for your company. Hearing about your business from all different levels of your company in a way that is honest, transparent, and fun attracts those prospective customers. School of Rock is a place to try to let people come in and live their dream, the vision that they want to have by being a musician and learning how to play an instrument and basically just learning how and what it takes to be a musician. That would be School of Rock. Other schools teach you out of a book, and School of Rock don't. It's, you, you can walk in and you, you don't have to know anything about music, and when you walk out of here, you know something. They kind of picked the song, and you know, you ask them, you know, do you have a favorite song that you want to play? And they'll tell you their favorite song, and you go, go on the computer, you know, sometimes I let them go on the computer because they know right where it is and they'll know right where it is. Sometimes when I go on the computer, I'll be like, is this it? No, this is not it. No, that's not it. Yeah, so um, so you, you let them pick the song, you know, and then and then you just show it to them how, it, how they will attack it, how do they how they play it, drum-wise or guitar-wise, bass-wise. People, and the reason I'm saying people because of all ages, uh, people who really are passionate about music, I think, and really want to really play. Most music schools focus simply on the instrument, playing the instrument, and the theory behind that, whereas we incorporate that into learning to play a song. So you'll still learn the theory, you'll still learn how to play the instrument, but you'll also learn how to play a solo, how to break into a, a, a different part of the song and to finish it off with a strong ending. It, it's a performance-based method of teaching students of all ages, we have an adult program as well, uh, about practical application and learning uh, instrumental techniques and performance techniques via real-world performance situations. It gives me a chance to show them what to expect if they do take this another step further in their life and, you know, coming in here and if they, some, you know, if they really want to be a musician and really be serious about it, it gives me a chance to show them, okay, hey, this is the guidelines of what's going to happen and this is what you kind of need to expect. So it starts like, hey, what song do you want to learn? What kind of music do you listen to? And sometimes they won't be able to answer or they're a little confused or in shock because maybe it's their first lesson or something. So I'm like, oh, let's work on this song because I know some songs that have good technique and good ways of improving your playing. Generally, the teachers choose the 
songs, um, big for a few reasons. One, um, we need to find something that works for the whole group, not just individual performers. Um, we like to highlight their talents. We have a really skilled keyboardist. We like to find songs that will uh, let them show off their skills. Music is a therapy. You know, for me, that's how I see it sometimes, you know, and then there's these kids like come to you and they have their problems. I mean, like everyone, like they, you have your problems or whatever. And then they come to you and they learn to a song and they learn a song and they feel so happy. You know, it's like, it's like in that moment you make it feel like awesome. You know, you made their day, you know, it's just like super awesome like to see those kind of things in, in, in a person, you know, and it's not only kids. We have an adult program that maybe for years, for years they've been like, they've been trying to like uh, learn or play in a band and we put them all together in, the, in this band and they're like, wow, I, I can't believe that I'm doing this. And I'm like, yes, it's you, man, you're doing it, <laughs> you know? So that's part of our job to like, to pretty much like inspire them, you know? And tell them, hey, you can do it, you know? And that's not only musically, and but in their life, they feel accomplished in some way, you know?